uh, Robert is doing right now is uh, uh, checking the up weight and the down weight of the piano and verifying that the friction is correct. Uh, friction is very, very important. It's the equivalent of brakes in a car, if you will. It's nice to have good acceleration, but you want to be able to slow down at some point. And the slowing down comes when you're playing quietly. You don't want the hammers to fly against the string. So uh, the, you, what we need in pianos is a certain amount of friction and not too much. So it's, a, it's quite a, a, a narrow uh, window that we're aiming at. And um, the up weight of the keys is equally important to the down weight. When you push down, if it feels heavy, you'll get um, your arms hurting and, and it could cause tendonitis. And if the keys come up either too slowly or too quickly, um, the artist will feel like he's skating on the, and doesn't have good control uh, on the keyboard. So uh, to do this, um, Robert has a, a, a ruler which has all kinds of little degraded degradations on it, uh, gradations, sorry, on it, and he puts the um, a weight back to forth, measures the distance uh, going down and coming up, and that gives us all kinds of information. So what we're looking at on this uh, graphic here, this is the down weight, and we would like those to be on that line there. Obviously, we haven't done the work yet. And here, the red line that you can see uh, is the friction, and we want that to be no more than 15, uh, somewhere between 12 and 15. And this is the up weight, and uh, is should fall, the green dots should fall somewhere between uh, 21 and 29 grams of up weight. And here is about 52 in the bass end, and at the treble end, we want to go down to about 48. We can change it around a little bit, but it's very important to get the, the green dots, the up weight, in the zone that will make it feel comfortable. And that is adjusted through the friction. So the higher the friction, um, everything just goes out, the higher um, the, uh, the up weight. And the lower the friction, the, uh, so we have to correct all of this and make it roughly correct. And you can see, for example, here there's one that's really far out. The, the dot there is very high and consequently the up weight is very low. So when we bring the friction down, then the up weight will actually go up. And that will also affect here, as we bring the friction down, the weight goes down and will fall more in line so that when we finally get to re-weighting the keyboard, not only will the, the down weight be correct, but we will have managed to get the up weight correct also. So what we're looking at is the Fandrick Rhodes touch weight bench, and right now we're on the, the uh, front page of it. If I go to this setting and I look on this page, what we have here is an absolute genius uh, that they have created. There's a scale, and um, we put the measurements uh, of the geometry of the action. The action is what you would see over here. Uh, and we measure all of the different distances and heights and uh, put all of the little measurements in. Uh, and then we come, once we've done that, we find out and weigh various things and we find out where it is, where the action is on the scale. And in this case, it reads 324, which is past being heavy, it's going to be awful. So what we manage to do is, even though we have the same weight of hammer, uh, it, by making some other adjustments, we can see by making those adjustments that we're going to be falling into um, the 280 zone, which is completely acceptable. We're on the chart. It's acceptable. And this kind of information uh, three years ago, five years ago, was not available in our industry. And we ended up doing wonderful work that was really not good results. So we're very lucky to live in an era of people like Daryl, uh, Fandrick and John Rhodes uh, who have created this kind of technology which is really easy and is in fact pure genius. Mm -hmm.